At this point, our mathematical model is completely defined, and let's get answers to solve it numerically and calculate its selected variables at selected points. And so the variables we are interested in, so these are our selected points, and these are the selected variables that you're interested in. And it answers is putting in some additional parameters that I will ignore in this discussion for the sake of simplicity, and they should all be equal to zero. So to do that, um, I will highlight solution in the tree and click solve. At this point, okay, so answers should have, would have set these degrees of freedom at this node to zero, and then it would have solved the, you know, derived the necessary algebraic equations and solved them to get the degrees of freedom at, at these two nodes. And so now we are ready, you know, so if we have the numerical solution and the rest of it, everything else we do will be in, in a part of post processing. And at this point, you know, we can go into solution information. And if you um, do control F and search for element type, okay, it says the element type that was used is beam 188. And if I go into the help and search for beam 188, Okay, over here, you can see that it is a two node element. That is, you know, so you, do, you don't have the mid side nodes, even though ANSYS was saying we have a total of five nodes. That's how I confirmed it. And you can take a look at the, um, at the other information on this page. Uh, for instance, it gives you, you know, um, how the slenderness ratio affects whether you're using Euler Bernoulli or Timoshenko. And for our slenderness ratio, essentially, we can assume that, you know, the model that answers using is, is Euler Bernoulli. So we have the selected variables at selected points, and let's do the post-processing. Before that, um, save your project.